working in the spirit of Texas. WFAA-TV presents Tracy Rowlett, John Criswell, Troy Dungan, and Dale Hansen. This is News 8 at 6. It was a, a 911 call that was still in emergency stat status and should have been answered. Mm -hmm. Dallas police say a 911 emergency call was held for 39 minutes on Sunday night. The call was placed from a house where five persons died in a fire. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We'll turn our attention to the election in just a minute. But first, an unexpected development in an already tragic story. Police say 911 dispatcher J.D. Mercer resigned today. Dallas Chief of Police Mac Vine said he was prepared to fire Mercer. Now local authorities are studying what they can do to make sure another call for help does not go unanswered. I'd like to go fishing. Sounds like fun to me. Pretty day. <laughs> After months of campaigning, the candidates can only wait as the voters now do the talking. Next on News 8, Lloyd Benson waits for the final tally by thanking campaign workers. We'll take you live to Benson headquarters in Austin. And George Bush is in Houston this evening, also prepared to celebrate a live Star Cam 8 report just ahead. So... It's a long night ahead of us. Channel 8 uh, will have its far-flung news crew all over the land tonight. Virtually, that's the way we feel about it. But we'll be here until, of course, we know uh, all the votes have been counted or we know who the winners are going to be anyway. Got two There's states in there. We 48 did. more and you're 48 in more and we're in business. That's right. <laughs> or somebody is. Well, the anyway. weather was beautiful across wow. Texas for Election Day today. Not too bad across most of the country. We'll take a brief look at that and we'll take a longer look at our forecast in just a moment. There's a word for news like this, spirited. For stories that celebrate life, depend on News 8 leadership. It's working in the spirit of Texas. From the ABC News Election Night Command Center, this is the 88 vote. Good evening, I'm Peter Jennings, along with my colleague David Brinkley. It is 8 p.m. in the east, and the polls have just closed in 16 more states and in the District of Columbia. So if you'll settle down, we'll tell you what the projections are in all of those states.